Hey everybody, this is Alex from Markup. I wanted to give you a quick run through of how screenshots will work with the browser extension. So when you're scrolling on any piece of content inside of Markup and there is an animated object or a hotspot, we know that sometimes it can be difficult to find those pins. So how the screenshot aspect will work is, let's say I scroll in this container here and I go to this section and I wanna leave a comment. Uh, what will typically happen is that Markup won't be able to find immediately where this pin is referring to because it's on a different section of the page. So as I click to make a comment here, Markup is going to automatically take a screenshot and I'll say uh, change to 45. Now when I do that, if I go back to browse mode, go back to the original section of this container and I go back here, you'll see that if somebody's reviewing this piece of content, they won't know what exactly this is referring to. So this is the first part of the page that they see. Now all I need to do is click on this screenshot here, which is automatically taken by markup. When I do that, I can go over here and click show pin. This gives me the exact section of the page the person was on when they left that comment and where that pin refers to. So now I know exactly what they were talking about, uh, changing 31 to 45 offices globally. This is something that we're really excited about. It's gonna provide much more context around pins that are either, again, behind a hotspot, animated objects, or maybe an element was deleted when somebody was working on the URL, but the pin is still inside of markup. Now you will have perfect context as to where every single pin is.